everyone, it's Saren from Three Smitten Kittens. Welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be a cosplay review, obviously, of Rosaria from Genshin Impact. So we're gonna unbox this and we're gonna put it on, so please keep watching. The costume we're gonna be reviewing right now is Elf Maid brand. So see, here's the box packaging. Medyo beat up siya. This is the Elf Maid logo. So, kita nyo medyo butas butas yung box. I got it like this and it's probably because in-inspect na siya ng customs. So, this is the Elf Maid logo. Like I said, sa Chinese also translate, it's 3 Beast Cat or Beast Cat. So, if makita nyo yun yung description, it's probably Elf Maid. Okay, let's open her up. So, all Elf Maid costumes I have come with this free fan. Yung Ningguang Kok came with a Klee Cle fan. This one is Ganyu. And here they have a separate pouch for all the accessories. And these are accessories, the belt, the gloves, the tights. We're gonna unbox, unwrap them all later. This is the veil, Nun's veil. And this is the main costume. There's a headband that's gonna go onto the veil. And these are the claw rings or the claws for Rosaria. So that's it for what's in the box. Again, we have the main costume. Mamaya isusot ko siya and I'm also gonna put it on a dress form. Here we have the nun's veil. We're gonna check out the details later. The headband that goes with it. Here's the gloss. So other brands don't come with the gloss but Elf Made already comes with them. Here are the gloves. They're made of a stretchable cotton spandex mix material. And here we also have the belt. The fabric for this is kind of flimsy and I don't like it so much but pwede na rin. And these are the tights or stockings. As you can see, medyo sheer sila. I'm gonna put them on here on my hand so you can see how sheer it is through my skin tone. Here's the tie belt. It's made of garters. I mean, literally garter. And here's the arm thingy, pendulum thing. The accessory at the end is 3D printed. Now let's unpack the accessories. They're all 3D printed and with acrylic gems or plastic gems. Most of them have brooch pins at the back to put them on. And there you go. And here's the vision, our cryo vision. Now let's look at this on the dress form. The details on top are nice. These are applique details with a glittery fabric and a shiny metallic fabric. Now here, the black and the red details are all leather, synthetic leather. Walang metallic parts for this gold. I wish they came in metallic parts, but this will do. And now for the main skirt, most of the fabric is made of a brocade fabric na may gradient dye. This one, like I said, yung ribbon, it's a thin microfiber fabric. And here are the 3D printed accessories. This one goes to shoulders. And this one goes onto the belt. This one also is a belt. And we have the last one here on the side. Natanggal yung pin so I just ko lang muna here for the video. Now here's the side zipper. That's how you get into the costume. And at the back, we see here, we also have an opening for the neck that buttons up. Okay. 
I already have foundation stains on it because I already wore it to try it. And there you go, that's the costume. By the way, this costume is one piece, the top, the skirt, the bikini. It's all sewn together, isang piraso lang talaga siya. I like it because it's easy to put on, wala masyadong moving parts. You don't have to put three things on, but medyo mahirap lang siya if magsi-CR ka, honestly. <laughs> And that's the Rosaria costume. Next, we're gonna check it out with the veil. Here is the nun's veil. It actually is nice. The details here are made of foam. I prefer it kesa 3D printed because it's easier to store. And since makapal yung foam, it also stands up on its own. You can see the length here. May red lining at the back. And this is the back. It, the details are printed except for these gold details. They're appliqued on. And this fabric is also glittery brocade, nice gradient coloring. I kinda really like this veil. And that's it. Also, this is our cryovision. It's foam reinforced applique, same as the silver parts ng veil. It has an acrylic gem. Now, this is me trying on the costume. As you can see here, it doesn't cover a lot sa chest area, so you have you need to have a good sticky bra <laughs> for the costume. And here, you can see the tights. You can see na medyo kita pa yung skin ko. It's not really dark red, but I kind of prefer it that way. And then we're gonna look at the close-up details. So here you can see the chest. I really like yung applique is a silver and a red. They really look nice on camera. And then the color ng fabric brocade. It I kind of wish it comes up darker because medyo if it, the lights are strong, medyo faded yung pagkablu niya as you can see here. And here's the back view. There you go. And here's the pendulum thingy. I actually don't really know how to pose with it. And so that's it for the costume feature. Now let's talk about this costume in particular and the pros and cons. First positive point is good quality fabrics were used. Most ng fabric makapal except for the red parts but they're meant to be a belt ribbon anyway so that's fine. Our next positive point is that this is a complete set. Kulang na lang wig and shoes. All the accessories, the vision, the veil, the gloves, the accessories. Yeah, what else is missing? Andito na lahat, even the clothes so wala nang kulang. Another thing I really like about it is one piece na siya. Now, it's up to some people whether they like it or not. But as for, as for me, I prefer something na one piece because it means I have less parts to pack, less parts to put on. And because if you wahi wala kada part, like you wala yung skirt sa bikini sa top, when you move in pictures, medyo sometimes they're not aligned which is not your problem if your costume is a one piece also mas mabilis siyang isuot if you watch my elf made ningguang review you can also see there that their ningguang dress is one piece and by that naka attach yung sleeve right to the main dress which is something elf made does a lot and i actually really like kasi i don't have to worry about if nalalaglag ba yung mangas ko because it's attached right to the costume so that's something I really like and as for things I don't like about it I think the color especially the part the blue actually comes out lighter than I wish it would I wish it were a bit darker it fits Rosaria better and then for some people they might not like that it's a one piece especially because mahirap mag CR with this kind of costume. You have to remove the entire costume and then remove your tights if you wanted to take a bathroom break. 
The seller I bought this from was from Shopee and I don't recommend them because actually I was going to buy an Ubo Wok Crossaria costume and that's what I checked out but they sent me an elf maid instead but hassle na papalitan and they're in denial that they sent me the wrong one so I just dealt with it. Thankfully nasa magkalapit na price point yung Uwobo and elf maid so tinanggap ko na lang. However, you can get this elf maid cosplay from another shop that's trusted which is High Style. The link will be in the description box. This is not sponsored by High Style. I wish. And this was actually sponsored by one of my coffee patrons instead. So thank you so much. So, ayun guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any other questions about this costume, lapag nyo lang sa comments. If you're into cosplaying, please like, subscribe, and follow this channel. I'm Sarin, and I make videos about cosplay, crafting, and cute stuff. Occasionally, online seller things, but paminsan-minsan lang. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Happy crafting!